What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Blox Transformers Wave 2 model kits. So I did an unboxing on these guys, but I wanted to show how they get built and then kind of how they perform and articulate. They come individually in boxes like this. They're intended to be blind boxes, so you get one of these nine figures. You have a 4 in 36 chance of getting one of these, and then a, a 1 in 36 chance of getting this special one. But in the United States, you can't buy these boxes individually. You get a set of nine. So you basically guaranteed all nine of these. The only one that is kind of, quote, blind is this one. That's a metallic version of Grimlock. I obviously, I didn't get it in this, just not lucky. But um, we will take a look at the Grimlock here, the regular one. Um, so that's how you can get it. You basically get all nine of these together in a box set. Um, but they are nicely packaged. You got some nice, you know, foil reflective thing. Each box is the same, so you can't tell the difference. Uh, I think there is a code. You could actually figure it out. But either way, this is how it's purchased here in the United States. Now, getting to the parts, let me just put up a quick image of what they look like. And you can see there's a bunch of parts here they had to put together. Not a lot. Uh, pretty simple. And they do come on these runners, a couple of the pieces. So the hands, alternate hands, come on this one here. Just pop those off. And then the joints for the knees and elbows come on this. So you have to pop those off. You do have to assemble the joints. So they look like this. There's two pieces. And it has a little peg here. And once you put it together, it stays together. It's not coming apart. So make sure you assemble it correctly. But it looks like this. And squeeze those together and you can see it will rotate here in the middle so that's how you know what direction to put it so once you get those together we can start assembling this guy so here's what it looks like and these are all accessories I'm just going to talk about it a little bit later right now we're assembling the Optimus Prime they say IDW down here but it's the shattered glass version I guess it is IDW um, each of them come with this little thing. I did scan this QR code. It didn't help me at all, so I didn't bother with it. But the Optimus Prime is actually the base for all of them. So they all assemble the same way, and then there's some add-on parts depending on what you're building to make it into whatever character. So let's start with this guy. You always start with this center chest piece. It does have a number on it, GV-02, Hasbro, all rights reserved. And then it's got an Autobot symbol there. Looks kind of like a Lego body. We're going to take this. We're going to add these arm joints. And make sure the tabs on each side are straight. Like that. And then uh, the other side. And then once you have those on there, you're going to take this chest plate. Really nicely detailed chest plate here for Optimus. And that's going to go right onto here. Make sure those little tabs make their way into the center of that chest. So it should look like that. Then go ahead and take the back of the chest. This is going to go on. There's pegs that are going to hold it together. It is a very tight press fit. So once you put it on, it's a little hard to take it off. But there's the chest. And then here you'll see there's two adapt holes. Now each bot is different. This one just has a cover for his back because it's Optimus, but others have different attachments for the back. So that's how they made this the base, right? Because all of them vary with that. Right, now that we have that, we're going to take this peg here. This is going to plug into the top. You'll hear it click into place. So that's the ball joint for the head. And now we'll start assembling the arms and the legs. So take this piece here. And you can plug that into there. So that's the shoulder piece. They are side specific, at least these two are, because you have the symbol there on his uh, right arm. Take one of your joint pieces, that's going to plug in again. They click into place like that. And then take this, that's going to click into here. Looks like that. And then take one of the hands. For now, we'll take the fisted hand just because it's easier. And then you do have this option part here for the posed hands. And on the other side, you also have a pointing hand. But these, this is unique to this Optimus. This is the only one that comes with a pointing finger hand. All right, and then we're going to take this and 
pop that onto the shoulder joint. So that's it. That's one arm on there. I'm going to get the other one done off camera and then we'll be right back. All right, now we've got both arms on there. We can take care of the waist section. So go ahead and grab this piece here. We're going to take this panel that is painted so you can tell it's the front. That's going to plug into here. And then take the back panel, which is unpainted, and plug that into there. And then this is going to plug in right here on the bottom. Friction fit. And there you go for that. Now we'll have some of the legs. So grab this piece here. And the joint is going to face inward, so just hold it like that. Grab one of your joint pieces. Make sure you're having it so he can bend his knee you know, back like that. Grab this piece here. This is going to plug in right here. And you want it so that you have this on the back, right? Because you're going to take this piece, that's going to plug on the side, look like that. You're going to take another one of these little ball joints, and you're going to pop that in to the bottom here. And then you take the foot and pop that onto the ball joint. And there's a fully assembled leg. And now I just realized I've got the gas can on that side. So I'm just going to rotate this and this will go here. So there's one leg. We'll do the other one off camera. I'll be right back. All right, and there he is with the arms and legs all finished. Last step is going to be the head. Really nicely detailed. You got some green paint here, metallic pink for the eyes. And that'll just pop on here on the ball joint. And there he is, fully assembled. Looks really cool. Nice tampo details kind of all over. Yellow. Autobot logo in purple, nice chest paint, some green there, green on the on the waist, gray paint here and here. Here's the back. Really nice looking. He does come with some accessories, but let's go over the articulation first. Heads on a ball joint, goes down to there, up to there. You do get side to side and then it rotates all the way around. Shoulders on a ball joint go all the way around goes out to the side up to there. You can lift up and this uh, shoulder pad can also tilt kind of on its own. Uh, but if you lift up on the shoulder you can get it up and down and you can get a butterfly joint out of that as well. So that's nice. You have rotation at the elbow. You get a little past 90 degrees out of that. For the wrist, you have a rotation on a ball joint, in and out movement, you know, it's basically a ball joint so you get any direction. Waist rotation here. Legs will kick up to there, back to there, out to the side. You have a little bit of rotation at the ball joint, at the thigh, and then you have a rotation here at the knee. You have a double jointed knee, gets you eh, a little past 90. I guess it's a single jointed knee. But you go for that. You have ankle tilt, pivot back and forth, and a rotation on that foot. For his accessories, you get the stand here. They each come with a stand. They are interconnectable, so you can take them and attach them like this. Basically slide them down together and now they're connected. So you can display them like that if you want to. These little Lego style pieces will plug in. There's little slots on the bottom of the feet. You just plug those in. And now you can put them into like crazy poses if you want to, whatever helps you kind of hold them in place. Uh, but he's pretty well balanced anyways, even without that. It's just that helps you get some even crazier poses. We also get his blaster. Now each of them come with a different accessory. So this is actually unique to Optimus. But he gets a Optimus style blaster that'll go into his hand. These are pretty much the same across the board. They all come with a little Autobot or Decepticon symbol. One side is Decepticon, one side is Autobot. Not really sure what they're for other than maybe you put them in here on the side of the arms and they can pretend that they're communicators. Something like that. I don't know. It doesn't really have a defined purpose, but they all come with two of these, so there's a lot of them. <laughs> And then we also get the alternate hands, which I showed you earlier. So you can just pop these off the ball joint, pop on 
the open hands and he can be doing something more expressive pretty nice and then unique to this guy is the pointing hand he can be pointing although he's a bad guy but he can be leading bad guys here so yeah that's really it for the accessories you do get this little thing here it doesn't really do anything but if you wanted to keep it with him you can so that's really it for the build process and the articulation I do want to show each of them so you can see how they all turned out I'm not gonna go over the articulation again they all pretty much are identical I'm also not gonna go over the accessories unless they're unique to the figure so let's get started all right so starting off with a grapple and inferno here they are indeed mold mates I mean all of them are mold mates they all have the same underlying body but you can see the legs are a little different the chest is a little bit different the head and the overall upper area here is different um, they do have some functionality so the inferno has the little ladder you can fold it out and fold it up and around I just thought that was kind of neat uh, the ears don't move they're just kind of locked in place he does come with a nozzle again they're all interchangeable so you could use whatever accessory you want with whichever figure uh, but I figured it makes the most sense to have Inferno with this, you know, nozzle for putting out fires. And then here we have Grapple or Hauler. And same kind of thing. He's got a little extended thing here. This one actually has a hook at the bottom, so the hook does move. I just thought that was kind of neat. And he comes with a little blaster like this. And again, like I mentioned... You can use whichever one you want, which with ever, whichever figure. I just thought these guys look better with the ones that replace the hands. But yeah, there you go for these two. All right, next we'll take a look at Cliff Jumper and Starscream. So Cliff Jumper comes with this little gun here, blaster. Again, different chest design, but the underlying core is the same throughout. It's got some nice detail there. He's got the wheel on the back, so instead of that back piece that Optimus had, he has this. And overall, really nice looking. Starscream is probably the most different as far as the backpack is concerned. You can see there's a whole different backpack here for the wings and for the pylons. He comes with his null rays and a Megatron gun. And again, the Megatron gun any of the accessories can go with anybody, but um, makes the most sense with him, obviously. But you can take this out, and I just want to show you what it looks like. There's a Megatron gun. Pretty neat. I just think it's cool that they included that. All right, next we have Mixmaster and Long Haul. And I'm assuming they're going to do the rest of the... Constructicons, so that's definitely neat. You can have a full set. We'll see when they reveal those, but um, these guys look really cool. Their arms are what's different. So again, underlying structure is the same, but the arms and the kind of helmet part is different. Lots of nice details. You can see all that painted detail on the chest. He comes with this little gun. Again, I don't know which gun is for who. You can put them with whoever you want, but it's that gun. Here's the back. It's got the mix it barrel. It doesn't actually do anything, it doesn't have any function, but I think it looks really good. Really nicely, nicely designed. For long haul, you get a little bit of functionality. Now he didn't even have a weapon. He has, he has this little thing. Again, could go with anybody. A little radar dish, communicator dish, whatever you want. This guy, you can fold this down and it can sit like that, and now you can have this look. The whole head does rotate, but I don't know, I just thought it was kind of neat that they gave you that option to change up his look. All right, and last but not least, we have Grimlock in robot and dino mode. And he's probably the star of this set just because this is the one that has the chase figure with the metallic gold. Obviously, I didn't get it, I just got the regular one. Um, but let's go over this first since it is similar. He does have his blaster here, really nice painted and tampo detail on him. He does come with this backpack piece, and these have a little bit of articulation in them, but these arms, I'm really surprised, have their own articulation. The hand can articulate up and down on a ball joint, can rotate. 
and the arm itself can rotate so you can kind of get in different positions. I just thought it was really cool that they thought that through. Uh, but other than that, this one is similar to the others we looked at. But kind of a neat little detail there on his back. This guy, obviously the most different of all of them, so I'm going to spend a minute on him. In construction assembly is very similar, but he gets the same gun and plugs in back here. You do see there's an Autobot logo underneath there. That was kind of a neat detail. I actually didn't see that till now. Um, but it almost looks like he transforms. He doesn't. But this guy, the articulation is a little bit different. So I'm going to go over it. The head goes up to there, down to there. You can open up the mouth. The chase figure comes with a piece of fire effect. I don't have it. I mean, I'm going to try to track down the chase one. But that's really cool. You can rotate the neck any direction. The arms are on a ball joint. Go up and down. And now any direction you want. The hands go up and down. I wish it went up a little bit more because if you go too far it pops off that ball joint. Rotation here and up and down movement. This one is a little bit, I don't know, the design of it's a little weird. I think um, it could have been tighter but it's fine. Legs rotate around in and out on a ball joint and these are the same joints that you have here. So it really is consistent like it's actually as if he transformed you know a lot of the parts are the same so that's just kind of neat you have a rotation at the knee you have a bend at the knee and again you can rotate this if you want it back that way or this way and then the foot is on a ball joint so side to side forward and backwards and then a rotation so he has plenty of articulation you can get in some nice poses the tail also waggles right here. So final recommendations on the Blocks Transformers Wave 2 model kits. I really like these things. I'm going to give them a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend them. They're really kind of fun to build and mess with. They've got some nice articulation, nice accessories, and overall they're pretty good value for 65 bucks for set 9 of these. That's about $7 a piece, give or take. So pretty good value as well. Um, I I didn't get a chance to look at the first wave, but now that I have these, I'm definitely going to get a hold of <laughs> wave two because they're just really fun to mess with. Um, if you like model kits, building model kits, these are like very simple, simple, easy to put together model kits. Kind of reminds me of the Yolo Park, a little bit more complexity than Yolo Park. Those are literally just pre-assembled, you just pop them together. This at least there's a couple of little joints you put together, but for the most part it's very simple and easy. So it turns out to be just a fun little project. So stay tuned for wave one. We'll get that soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.